A young Chicago artist is painting his way into the history books, or better yet, the halls of history. CBS News' Erica Sargent joins us with his incredible story. Did you know your calling in life when you were eight years old? No. No. <laughs> well, Sean Michael Warren certainly did, and he mapped out a future that Americans will be admiring for decades, even centuries to come. His music of choice? Jazz to make the world outside his studio fade away and the story inside this artist's head flow onto the canvas. So I want to send the viewer down a rabbit hole. Who is this person? Where did this happen? That's the, the great thing about being an artist. You can do whatever you want. Sean Michael Warren was born with the patience many lack. He spends months perfecting each strand of hair, the curves in the nose, the rich pigments in the skin. And now it's earning him a rare place in history. When we dropped the veil off the portrait, I didn't realize there were screams. A lot of people just like screaming and cheering. Uh, I sort of blacked out in that moment. But it all started growing up in Chicago. Do you have an earliest memory of you being drawn to art? comic books. Uh, I was a huge Marvel fan, huge DC fan. Sean's parents encouraged him to follow his passion as a young boy. His mother, an architect, and his father, a carpenter, made sure he explored the city's museums. It was really a blessing to, to have that support. But when I got to the Art Institute of Chicago for the very first time as a kid, that was everything for me. This is something I would love to do for the rest of my life. I just got to figure out how to do it um, full time. I don't want to be the starving artist. So he made a plan. Sean took art classes in high school. He entered a citywide contest his junior year and among hundreds, he won. He studied at the American Academy of Art in Chicago as a fine arts major specializing in oil painting. And at a professor's urging, he applied and was accepted into the Florence Academy of Art in Italy. For a young black man who had never ventured outside the U.S. It truly ended up being one of the most um, pivotal moments of my life. And to, you know, see some of the most, you know, iconic figures in art history. Sean soon found his own unique voice in his art. Like this painting, depicting the 1921 Tulsa race massacre, when a white mob killed hundreds of black residents and destroyed their homes. I want to tell stories, uh, stories that might make us uncomfortable sometimes uh, or spark conversations that need to be had. Stories about black workers who helped create the Venice Canals in Los Angeles in the early 1900s, but were banned from living there because of racist housing laws. Troubled Waters portrays people affected by contaminated water in Flint. And it seems like it's less about just an observation, but an experience when people look at your work. Is that Yes, true? and that's what I want it to be. You know, I want the person to be immersed. I want them to become curious. Working and working. A mural of Oprah he created with local businesses in the West Loop in 2020 caught the billionaire media mogul's attention. She complimented him on social media, and that set off a chain of events he never saw coming. Well, reckon that. Oprah had turned down hundreds of other artists over the years and declined numerous invitations from the Smithsonian's National Portrait Gallery to be featured there until Sean. She handpicked him to paint her for the gallery's permanent collection. At first, I didn't think it was legit, to be honest with you. <laughs> it became real for him as he talked with Oprah about their lives and met in her prayer garden. Oh, that's where she does all of her crying and all of her wailing, all of her praying, you know, so to be invited into that space, that intimate space where she is fully herself, fully transparent, you know, uh, you know, her and all of her rawness, that was really something. The portrait took 10 months with rough sketches, hundreds of photos, color studies, larger drawings, then onto the canvas. <laughs> The 36-year-old is one of only five black male artists in the world commissioned by the gallery. The response was all I could have hoped for. To be in an institution amongst some of the greats that I've studied, you know, that's, it, it's an otherworldly uh, feeling. How has your life changed? One of the weirdest things for me was realizing that my name was everywhere. <laughs> The demand for Sean's art is skyrocketing. 
He's working on his first solo exhibit, thankful for his family who encouraged him. For them to witness that moment, you know, they were just beside themselves. Crediting the city that shaped him. Chicago is a place that breeds talent. It will definitely mold you in a way where you are able to take on the world. And now, Sean is hoping to inspire the next generation of black artists. And we need to, to see that, you know, there are so many opportunities and paths that we can take. Never lose sight of what you actually want to do. Sean's work has gone international now. His portrait of a mythical African queen is now displayed in the U.S. Embassy in Spain as part of a federal art program, Jimmy Marie. Wow. Great piece, Erica, mm -hmm. and he's still based here. He is. His studio is in Streeterville, so of course he's all over the world now, right. but he loves right. to come home to Chicago. Well, what an introduction. Yeah, I can't wait excellent. to see what he does next. Right. Thanks, Thanks, Erica. Erica.